We begin tonight at 6 with the Commander's next chapter and the face of the franchise moving forward. Jaden Daniels, thanks for being here. I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. Daniels arrived in D.C. earlier this afternoon, and just a few hours ago, he made his big debut at the Commander's camp in Ashburn, Virginia. Right after that news conference, Daniels sat down for an interview with our Desmond Purnell. He was the only local sports reporter to get that interview. And so we go to Des joining us now with more. You've been in the room with the new QB. You've seen how he interacts with his family. He seems energized. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. <laughs> oh, he is like, super energized. He told me that he hadn't gotten much sleep over the past 24 hours. Of course, he was in Detroit for day one of the NFL draft, flew into the district earlier today and touched down here at Commander's Park earlier this afternoon, surrounded by his family, his mom and dad. They were all in attendance as the Commanders officially introduced their new franchise quarterback to the DMV. I got a chance to speak one on one with Jaden Daniels, and he tells me he is bound and determined to help turn things around for the Burgundy and Gold guys. What are the Commanders getting? and Jaden Daniel as far as a player and a person? Uh, somebody on the field, off the field, is going to work each and every day to be the best version of himself. Um, somebody that just does whatever it takes to win football games, um, in whatever role I'm in. And you know, I'm excited to accept that challenge. Um, and moving forward, man, I'm excited just to get to work. There are such high expectations that come with this quarterback position and you coming in because it's been quite some time since they've had a franchise quarterback. How do you view that prospect and how do you handle such high expectations coming in? Man, uh, I would just say just uh, knowing God put me in this situation, he wouldn't put me uh, in any situation he knew I couldn't handle. Um, and, you know, that's real, that's real talk. Um, yeah. And really, I mean, just going out there and just uh, knowing who I am as a person. I mean, people are going to have expectations, opinions of you. Um, whether you do good or you do bad, um, right. at the end of the day, it's like who you, you're, it's about your team, it's about your inner circle, um, it's about the work that you put in day in and day out. Leslie and Lorenzo, you heard what Jaden Daniels just said. He knows who he is as a person. I actually followed up that question with how do you handle criticism? The big knock that naysayers may have on Jaden Daniels is his, his frame. They say he's not as big as the prototypical NFL quarterback. They say he takes too many hits when he's breaking out of the pocket and running. I asked him, how do you handle the criticism? He says that, again, he's only concerned about what his coaches think, what his teammates think, and he's only concerned with trying to be the best person that he can be. I got a chance to speak with his mom and his dad, and you can tell that he comes from some, some very good stock, and they've played a huge part in making him as mature and as poised as he is, and that's what you want to hear, and that's what you want to see from a franchise quarterback, guys. Yeah, he sounds pretty grounded. And, you know, we heard Commander's GM Adam Peters say a little earlier as well, it's not just about what Jaden Daniels can do on the field, but he's poised to be a great leader off the field in the community as well, and that's what this is all about, well-rounded person. All right, Desmond, thank you. And he you. can eat some meals. Yeah, yeah you know, he just do it. He can steak and Go potatoes. For it. He'll be fine. <laughs> help him out. That's the help easy him. part. Leslie, you go on and help him out with that, yeah.